Hello, I'm Blago and welcome back. This is my next uh, project sponsored by JLC PCB and it's actually uh, Ultimate Smart Switch or a button that is uh, battery powered and based on ESP32C3. So, let's begin. So let me first show its functionality. So because it's battery powered, don't need to have any any wires and with the press of the button, ESP is actually powered on and it's then connecting to the uh, local Wi-Fi and then trying to send a wake command uh, message in order to wake uh, our laptop without opening the lid or pressing the power button. Of course, for this you need to enable uh, wake command on laptop itself. And after this we can dive in into KiCad and just check out what it's actually made of. So if we just take first closer look at uh, 3D view, we can see that we have our ESP32 C3, our mechanical switch that is actually hot swappable. Uh, we have our USB Type-C connector and actually some, some uh, fully addressable RGB LED on the back. And on the back we have this Q2 that is actually used for soft latch, latch functionality for our ESP32 and uh, power. Uh, what that means that actually the ESP32 C3 will not be powered unless we are we press this uh, this mechanical switch. This will enable Q2 and actually the power to ESP32. And then ESP32 has responsibility to actually pull down one pin and actually keep this power enabled. A couple of more stuff regarding the battery protection, battery control and, and actually voltage regulator. So after this we can jump and take a look at the schematic. So here we are actually using ESP32C3 Mini which is very small and has its pins on the bottom side of the, of the chip. And uh, firstly, I tried to do this uh, myself, to solder this myself with uh, soldering iron and even a uh, hot, hot air gun, but without success. And that is why uh, for this project, I opted out for PCB assembly from JLC PCB site. And I must admit that everything is working fine. Uh, because this is very precise uh, soldering that needs to be uh, taken into account and I didn't want to spend time de debugging the hardware shorts. So, thanks again for JLC PCB for providing this option. Uh, everything went extremely fine and in the comments you have my link in order to create something special yourself. And after this, basically we have only the main functions of boot address button that for this implementation, because of the size, I'm actually using uh, soldier jumpers that are actually open and basically you need to add some solder between those two in order to enable the boot mode or in order to reset the, the, the board. Then we have simple uh, status LED, which is fully, fully addressable RGB with one pin of course and then we have a couple of stuff regarding uh, USB Type-C connector, battery protection, charging circuit and, and of course our soft latch functionality. And this is the main, uh, the main feature of this board because at the beginning we actually were not, pass, uh, not passing uh, battery voltage to voltage regulator and because of that actually our ESP32 is powered off. When switch is pressed, uh, when switch is pressed this line will pull down which will enable this, um, this transistor to, to, to pass the uh, battery voltage to voltage regulator and then it will power, power our ESP32. But this switch is pressed only for some time and then because of this, the first, uh, when ESP is actually booting up, the first thing that it needs to do is actually to enable this pin, to enable this, to, uh, to power off this, uh, this transistor in order to actually uh, pull, uh, pull this down in order, to, in order to have this line actually enabled as well. 
So that's the reason why we need at the first beginning of our code actually pull this to high to enable this transistor in order to have the ground here and to have a battery voltage to the our voltage regulator pin. So let's check our demo code that is actually doing this wake plan stuff. And now we can check uh, our code written in Arduino ID with ESP32 enabled. So we are actually using uh, ESP32 C3 board. And we need to define a couple of libraries. We use uh, fast uh, LED libraries for our uh, status LED. Of course, we need uh, Wi Fi uh, and a couple of libraries in order to have this awake on online function. And that's it. Uh, I have defined pin 3 as our power pin in order to keep our board enabled after the mechanical switch is uh, is pressed and this is actually for our status LED that we have number of LEDs in the in the cascade of one data pin for our LED is 7 and the brightness of our LEDs and that is pretty much it so you have a couple of things to define here and that is SSID and the password of your local LAN and then we can start with our functions. Our functions in order to wake a PC is very simple and basically you need to know the MAC address of your, of your local uh, laptop or PC in order to do this and then just send this magic packet and that's pretty much it. Uh, how we are doing actually the power down of our of our board is uh, actually I would like to send here this uh, red status, wait some time and then uh, release our power pin. As I said in the setup functions, the first line of our code needs to be definition of power pin as the output and we need to pull this pin to the high in order for our board not to power down. After this, we can basically write any code, and in my case, I'm actually giving the status uh, status for our our LED, and then uh, setting up a Wacom LAN and a Wi-Fi mode in order to have to have this now. After Wi-Fi and Wacom LAN is uh, set up, I'm just changing the status LED and then going up into main loop where I'm doing the simple stuff. Just calling my two functions, one will actually send a vacuum uh, message, and after some time, I will go to the power down. And that's it. When the power down is activated, um, a power pin will be set to low. This will indicate uh, this line, so this line will go to low. This uh, transistor will be then powered off, and we will not have the ground here in order to keep this transistor alive and. Uh, basically have a battery voltage on a voltage regular to side and that is pretty much it i really like this project because this is basically the stepping stone to all other battery power project uh, that uh, i'm planning on uh, on creating and uh, with this basically i have tested uh, esp32 c3 I have tested a USB Type C connector with a battery powered, so we have a small lithium ion battery that is actually uh, connected to this uh, battery plus and minus uh, ports, which is actually charging and providing power when there there is no USB Type C uh, 5 volts connected, and of course uh, power latch functionality that actually will put ESP32 into not deep sleep but actually power it on with very small amount of current current draw at that point so with this this is basically the first step for for going further on in my my journey of creating ultimate wireless uh, esp32 powered split keyboard and this will actually be on the keyboard side and if you check my last project with this ESP32 S2, you can see the trend. I would like to use this ESP32 C3 on the keyboard side, and on PC side, I would like to use this ESP32 S2, which has this HD functionality, in order to have uh, to have my my wireless keyboard. So this keyboard will not use Bluetooth; it will actually use ESP Now as communication protocol in order to send the data that is actually pressed. So 
ESP32. C3 will detect the key presses from mechanical switches and then over ESP now send the data to ESP32 S2 which will actually send HID commands and be detected as the keyboard. So if you want to see uh, additional videos on this topic please subscribe and thanks once again to JLC PCB for providing so uh, high quality uh, PCB assembly and basically for this project everything that you see is done by JLC PCB both sides PCB assembly with ESP32 C3 mini with the pins on the bottom side only thing that I need to do is actually solder on this uh, mechanical switch that is actually uh, hot swappable and the battery connector but everything else is done is done by JLC PCB and this saved me a lot of time and if you check out my uh, DIY attempt, it got messed up pretty badly and spent a lot of time on trying to fix this. So that's why I have this, this, this project a bit support of Jelsey PCB. I opt out for a full uh, SMD assembly and it turned out great. If you would like to create something uh, special yourself, please check out Jelsey PCB in the description below and take care.